In the last module, we completed this particular app that would get some code of the API and show it on our screen, which is really cool. But what if we wanted to show the code with a button on the same screen itself? Now in Flutter, we have been working with stateless widgets so far, which suggests that there are also widgets that have state or you can say state full widgets. Now in Flutter, we can make this particular widget into a stateful widget by clicking on this bulb like icon and saying convert to state. You would notice that the class home screen ends here and we have something called a home screen state which starts right here. A stateful widget has a state object as you can see in this particular code. Now what are these stateful widgets and how do you use them? Flutter is a reactive framework which means that the, fun the UI is a function of state. You can understand this state as some data. Let us say there is a variable that has some text inside of it. Uh, it stores a string. Uh, we can say for uh, example, name of the student, which could be Aditya. Now, when the value of that particular variable changes, the UI should be updated accordingly, which makes sense, right? If the name of the student changes, you want to show up the na uh, new name of state. You want to show the new name of the student and the changes on the UI should be applied accordingly. For that, we have stateful widget, which gives us access to something called a set state function that would basically let us rebuild this widget depending on the new UI changes. The stateful widgets also unlock uh, the different life cycle of a widget. Like you can tap into the different stages of the life cycle of a stateful widget to perform multitude of actions, like different actions with it. So let us try to see that with example. Let us say our particular scaffold also has an app bar, uh, which would take in like a, the app bar widget, which we are familiar with so far. So I'll just create that. This app bar would have something called a title property, which normally takes in a text widget. So I can call uh, this particular text widget some variable. So let us create our variable for now really quickly. Let us say inside this home screen, uh, we have a late uh, string, which is called title, which would make it really simple to understand. Now, instead of using some empty string here, we can save it to title. Let us also specify some default value so that we don't get an error. Let us say Aditya for now. So we don't really need the late keyword if we have a default value for it. Now coming down to my on pressed of this button, I'll comment out this code. Now in Flutter, you can simply select the code that you want to comment out uh, and hit control and the forward slash. which should comment out this code or you can add uh, these slashes before it. Instead of having something like getting the code inside our on press right now, I want to do something called a set state. Now if I type in set state, you'll see it is a, a callback, which is immediately called. It may not return a future. And what it does is basically notifies the framework that some uh, state of the object has changed and you need to uh, rebuild this widget with the new changes. So I'll just call set state right here. What I want to do is I want to change this particular value and normally you shouldn't have some future. So for smaller values, you can apply or just simply call this uh, when you're done with your particular changes. It's normally not recommended to have uh, much processing done inside this set state. So what we can do is we can just set like the title equals to, let us say uh, Apple. Now would that work? Let us save this file really quickly. And now it should first of all bring out like it should synchronize these files and you'll see like on the app bar right now there is aditya but when i press this get code button it should update to apple right here which is really cool right you uh using this set state callback what we did is we updated the title value to a new particular thing and similarly you can uh, reuse this to build your widgets according to the new set of changes
now we want to do something similar uh, with our particular code so we can have some code text right here that is uh, inside our ui where we have this elevated button as the only widget right here let us go ahead and wrap it with the column so that there would be a complete column and uh, we can get rid of the center button we can remove this widget because uh, we'll have a complete column right here so i'll say remove this widget so right now we have in our body a complete column one of the column elements should be a button down here which would which when clicked should update the quote on screen the quote initially can be set to some like empty value for now let us say quote let us make that value empty let us also have a variable called author which can be kept empty for now then what we'll do is we'll go to our second screen dot dot and we'll cut out some uh, elements that we have that is we had these uh, quote and the other widgets that we were already using so i can cut these out come back to my home screen and paste it inside the column which can have like multiple children so let us just do that i'll also get rid of this initial set state button that i created for example and i'll also get rid of this title i'll keep my app bar empty because i don't really need it let us update this quote and author quote text instead of using quote text on, as on our second screen we can use the quote variable and instead of having author name we can use the author variable which is cool uh, at the start these variables would be empty so the text would be empty and we wouldn't see much and we'll also uncomment this code by using the same combination control and forward slash and once this is done we have created like string uh quote equals to this author equals to this and instead of making them as new variables we can get rid of uh, this declaration again and that would mean that we are using these already created variables and setting their values to this new value and lastly we can just call a set state callback to notify of changes we'll keep it empty because we have already uh, added the new values for quote and data and after we save this you'll see like at the start there isn't much on screen like the screen uh, both the both this text quote and author are empty we are seeing these smaller space up here because of the padding that we have applied and once we click on get quote it should take some time and then uh, we'll also have to get rid like you can see it also came on this screen but if we remove this uh, second screen navigation and we only have set state right here if we save this file and hot reload it again you'll see like right now we are getting some default value let us just hot uh, restart the application so hot restart complete uh the default value is uh, nothing inside our text and quote uh, widgets they are empty uh, the smaller space is due to the padding applied to them and now when we click on get quote it should take some time but the quote should appear here so it makes uh, content makes pure men rich discontent makes rich men poor by benjamin franklin which has appeared here because uh the widget set state like it updated the new data on screen and after we got this data we were able to show it on the same uh, screen which is really cool right so so far in this tutorial we have learned the different navigations we have also seen like the different widgets in flutter but we also got to learn about this new stateful widget which lets us uh, do some processing and also like uh, get data on screen when we click and update the ui with it so once that is done uh, i think we have covered a lot of stuff we are able to build our own applications and uh, your bigger applications are just combination of these smaller widgets that you would use over time we can now successfully get rid of this second home screen like we do not really need it and moving it to recycle bin so with that gone we'll have like the home screen which uh, lets us uh, do this and there are also different things uh, different life cycle of the stateful widget that you can tap into 
there is init state which is basically called when the widget is initialized there is also a dispose method which is called when you get rid of this or when you dispose this method of so you can set certain actions to perform when your widget is being initialized or when it is being disposed and uh, you can also improve on this outer widget by adding them some content some decoration like wrapping it in a con container and adding some decoration to it and you can always refer up tutorials by going over to in internet